Okay, this is um, just a uh, review on how to install a um, Bose 321 system here. Okay, you're going to have your your sub here. Okay, you're going to have your main head unit here and your two speakers. Okay, um, what you want to do is first take your your Meteor Center acoustic module cable, which looks like this right here. Okay, the other end looks like this. We're going to screw that into here okay, and tighten those up. The other end goes on the bottom where it says acoustic mass module. That goes there. Then what you want to do is you're going to take your okay, your speaker cable here. Okay, you're going to see it has a 9 pin serial on one end and just a, a 4 pin um, female on both of these ends here um, those go into the back of the speakers so this piece here the 9 pin serial goes above the acoustic modular cable okay, install that then you're going to take these make sure that one says right and one says left so obviously when you install them make sure one's to the right one's to the left it's supposed to be at least 3 feet um, away from the the um, the main unit, so uh, which is this right here. You want to uh, keep them three feet away. The speakers on both sides. Then you have your power cord that just get plugged into the subwoofer in the bottom here. Your power cord. I have it hooked up just optical, to right direct to the TV. It's easier that way because then you could just keep your your unit uh, on like video one, no matter if you have. Your Xbox, PS3, cable box, DVD player, what have you. You don't have to keep switching in between all these inputs here. So just run an optical cable right to the direct to the TV to the unit here. And that will just save you a lot of headaches switching back and forth from inputs. Okay, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.